So I'm at the apple tree today and this is what I noticed. I'm super disappointed because we have so many apples, but check this out. And I looked it up online. I think it's from a codling moth. See that stuff right there with my thumbnail? Um, it looks like uh, the babies have bored the little moth worms or whatever, larvae, whatever, have borne through the apples and almost all the apples have this on them. So I looked it up online um, and it says to uh, basically take the fruit off the tree and we might be able to save the other ones but super super bummed because we have a lot of apples and do you remember last time when I showed you that big white mass that was over here? Um, I think that might have been what it was. Might have been, just remember this white stuff on this branch? And down over here? Well, I think that might have been um, maybe the cocoons. I have no idea. But in order to save the other apples, we've got to pull off all of these ones, unfortunately, that have been born through already. Bored through or born through? I'm not sure which one it is, but. Um, so I'm super sad, but happy to know that I can do something about it. See, there we go, there's another one. Um, but not every single one hopefully doesn't have it, but I'm gonna check and see. Take off what we can, and then we're going to order some um, coddling moth traps, if that, in fact, is what this is. So, wish us luck. Hi, everyone. So we figured out that it's probably a coddling moth that has infested our Fuji apple tree. So super disappointed because this was the first area that we really got lots and lots of apples. Um, but as I showed you earlier, if you remember, come on over here and take a look. The coddling moth has burrowed in and has ruined these apples. So now the larvae is uh, just having a great old time in there. So the only way to remedy this is to unfortunately cut off all the ones that have that so they don't move on to the other fruit yeah so we're super sad there's so many that we have to cut off this tree but that's the only way that i can really prevent it at this point from spreading on to every single apple um, and whatever we do have left i'm told via the internet that we're supposed to cover them with uh, knee-high pantyhose so i've ordered some they should be in today and we'll show you what we're doing with that next. So for now, we've got to clip away. See, there's some more over here, so sad. I'm just cutting them off and uh, dropping them into the bag. Uh, and then we're gonna clean up anything else that's fallen on the ground. All right, I'll let you know what happens. I wanna show you what I had to do with the apple tree. See these pantyhose? <laughs> right here. These are hopefully going to protect these little apples in here. We threw away probably a good 30. Um, I tried to save some. I don't know if it'll work. I think I actually need to tie them up a little bit better. But, um, sorry for the wind. Uh, but we're gonna see if that helps. Um, oh, there's one down there too. Uh, and in doing some research about that, um, now I know what to do different next year. And what is that you may say? Well, look how all this stuff is under the tree. Perfect places apparently for a codling moths to hide and lay eggs. So, um, that's what we need to do different. <laughs> Clean all this up underneath. Okay, this is my chore. The chore is, I hope you can hear with all that wind. The chore is to thin out the pears that are on this tree. Look for coddling moth burrowed holes and see if maybe the coddling moths were just satisfied with the apple tree this year. But I am on a quest this year to get some good pears since the apples were destroyed and I'm going to cover what I can um, of these so the caldy moth does not destroy it because this is 
also the first year that these have been looking pretty good. So this is going to be a chore because there's a lot on here, but we're going to thin them out and bag the fruit. So our pear tree started to have some codling moth issues, and so we're trying to save what we can. Um, hoping that it doesn't result in our apple tree fiasco, which the codling moth took almost the entire crop. So, uh, this is what we're gonna do. I'll show you. So as we're thinning out the crop, this is what we're noticing has happened. See this right there? That's where the codling moth uh, burrowed in, um, started eating. And some of these also have some issues like that. So some of these are just being thinned out also. So this is what we do. We're taking pantyhose just like this and just like knee-high pantyhose. Um, they come like this. They stretch out pretty significantly. Let me see if I can do this while holding the camera. Ooh, pretty significant, pretty stretch out. And then what I'm doing is I'm tying three knots into it so I can cover four different fruits. And this is what it's looking like over here. So I've covered one here, and it has enough room to grow, and then I've tied off the top with some gardening string. And this will hopefully prevent any codling moths getting to the good fruit. And yes, it seems very, very tedious because this tree has a lot of Asian pears on it, but I would rather have Asian pears than not. So it's a team effort. Ken's up there doing it with the higher ones and do that. So we'll see how many we can save. Um, I think I showed you earlier that we did that as well with the apple tree. Um, I just threw on half worth onto these apples, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably take those off and retie them and uh, save a little bit more uh, knee-high length and cover a lot of work. We'll see how this all works. I'm hoping, 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 fingers crossed, that we can finally get a good crop of Asian pears if we can save these little guys from the copper moth.